another day another adventure today we are going to a place called Moro Negrito I believe I don't even know what that even translates to but we're going there today to get some surfing and to hopefully see some whales we're getting a pretty epic sky so far so hoping for the best it's been really rainy we have a bunch of three cars one two and another guy across there and it's a nice group of young kids who love adventure and just doing exciting things so surfing rock climbing well we'll see what else so let's do this My feelings down. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, I fell in love with your color. Okay, so we've gotten to the point where we have to take a boat, and we are four cars deep. That red Navarro joined us, and we have to go through that swamp to get to the boat and then get out into the ocean. So. Adventure, right? We never know where we will fall. Nobody can see it. Still, they want to tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. Well, adventure is what we came for, right? I found it and we only just began. Okay, so we've reached a place where I'm seeing houses and so I guess people live here, but then I'm seeing a lot of potential at the point. Or the point is very sick. Over there. Very sick, bro. Looking pretty good. <laughs> we need to see that face to face. So yeah, I think we're gonna drop off here first and then head over to see what the potential is like. A few moments later. So, plot twist. <laughs> The engine just uh, stopped and the thing that you used to start it also stopped. It burst, so we are looking for an alternative. Um, I'm seeing an ore here where we could probably paddle to the spot, but as of right now, we ain't going nowhere. Stay tuned. So from where we're stuck, I'm actually seeing potential for a decent little rideable left. So I'm gonna give it a shot until they can get the boat repaired. At least I can get into the water for now. So here goes nothing. Okay, let's talk about it. I am seeing a lot of interest in the comments about people coming to visit, people coming to consider relocating and want to rent somewhere or just people who flat out wanna relocate and buy property here asking me about properties the different areas to live in and so on so my sponsor inside panama real estate has given me an email address that you can reach out to me and i can channel you to the right people the right properties and so on so you can get your dream location and your dream home or your dream property be sure to email me at richard at ipreinfo.com and we'll get right back to you with all the information that you will possibly need for finding property here and possibly relocating. So I have an incredible team that I'm working with. Shoot me that email and I will get you the right person. I'm very thankful to these folks at Inside Panama Real Estate and DoPanama.com for giving me the opportunity to provide you, my subscriber base and my viewers, with the information that you would need to relocate and find the properties that you so desire. Thanks, folks. So 
a lot has happened since that last update. I was able to get out to the point that I really wanted to surf because the boatman got his engine repaired after about 20 minutes. So I surfed that little munchkin wave for about that time and then I went and I surfed bigger waves. The point was pretty good. It was about head high, a couple overhead sets and I had to wait a very long time before it even um, turned on. I got a good two hour session maybe. They went to the waterfall while I was surfing. They had a good time. We are back now and everybody's kind of enjoyed lunch already. A bunch of them are learning to surf. I'm about to go join them and teach them whatever I could. Some are just kind of chilling out in hammocks and it's a pretty chill day. I think we were very blessed to have a good day like this so far. So whatever comes after that happens because I'm very thankful for the great day that we had. So let me go teach some surfing and then get back home to Bokete. This is what we were walking through earlier with loads of mud in it. That's how drastic the Pacific tide is where one low tide into high tide and we can actually drive through here instead of walk and plowing through the mud. So we're getting the easy way in. And that's a wrap. We are docked safely and ready to take our two hour drive back to Bokete. So, you know the drill. If this is the content you like, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. I have some big news coming in the next one. So, stay tuned and let's do this.